Hey guys, I have a, another library haul for you and I bought one book so I'm just going to get right on into it because it's going to be a huge haul. So the book I bought is Bared to You by Sylvia Day I think? Yeah, Sylvia Day and this book was recommended to me by many 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 people and they said that it's kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey but better so I'm really wanting to read this and I bought this as a treat to myself when I finished my testing so um, I'm really excited to read it and I cannot wait to see what happens. Moving on to the library books, the first book I got is by Philippa Gregory and I'm so excited because I didn't know that she wrote YA and it's called Changeling and it's A Order of the Darkness book one and I'm so excited and I love how it has the decked edges. So cool. So it's about a boy named Lucas and a girl named Isold, and I think Isold is like a princess and Lucas is exiled to um, record fears or something and together they need to um, accomplish some goal. <laughs> Terrible summary I know but um, I'm really excited to read it. I think it's going to be super super exciting. The next book I got is Wherever You Go by Heather Davis and this book is about a young girl whose boyfriend Rob dies in a car accident and she is obviously dealing with the grief from that and she's also having to take care of her younger sister and her grandfather who has Alzheimer's syndrome and um, eventually she finds out that her grandfather can speak to Rob's spirit and she is also getting a lot more attention from Rob's best friend Jason so it's just you know a compilation of those three stories into one. The next book I got is Glimmer by Phoebe Kittandis maybe but this is about a couple who um, I believe wake up in bed together and they have no recollection they have amnesia as to what happened and they're in this town that's very quaint and um, there, ended, there ends up being like zombies in it and so they have to try to figure out how to get out and um, before they sacrifice everything that they love so I think this looks really interesting and I've never heard of this author before so it should be a good read. The next book I got is Evil Within and this is a possessions novel so it's a sequel so I'm not going to say much about it but it's by Nancy Holder and I loved possessions. I wasn't expecting to like it but I really did so since it's around Halloween I thought this would be a good read to try and Kelly Armstrong said that it was hip modern and gothic so um, and I love her writing and style so I think I'm going to really enjoy this one. The next book is Tempest by Julie Cross and I've wanted to read this for a long time. It reminds me of um, Hush Hush for some reason. I don't know maybe it's the font or something but it's about this guy that's living in 2009 and his girlfriend is brutally shot and she and he is a time traveler so he tries to go back in time before so he could save her and um, he ends up getting stuck in 2007 and he meets his girlfriend again and he finds out some interesting secrets about his family and this society wants to have him in their club and if he doesn't join, then they're gonna kill him. So I thought that was really interesting. This next book is called Sing Me to Sleep by Angela Morrison, and I'm really excited to read this. I know I'm kind of behind on the bag and wagon for this one, but um, I just couldn't find it. But this one is about a girl who isn't very pretty, but she has a beautiful voice, and she's going to sing in a competition in Switzerland, and she meets a guy who has dark secrets of his own, and he, they fall in love. And um, I think it's going to be a great love story and I'm really excited to read it and find out what happens. The next book is Where It Began by Amanda Stampler. And this reminds me, this cover reminds me of The Summer I Turned Pretty. I think it's so pretty. Like, oh, I love this. Gorgeous. So this is about a girl who wasn't pretty and she... Um, goes away for a summer or something and comes back gorgeous and the most popular guy um, finds her attractive now and so she's trying to hide the secret until one day she wakes up in front of his um, crashed BMW and he's nowhere to be found and she kind of has to piece together what happened because she can't remember and it's like a self-discovery kind of story and I'm so stoked to read this. I think it's going to be amazing and even Jenny Han said it's unputdownable and she's the author of the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy which I adored so I'm super excited. And the last book I have is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick and I'm actually reading this right now and I'm enjoying it but it's about a girl who has a mother who is a senator and she's very uptight, very um, strict 
and um, she is in love with her neighbors and her neighbors are crazy have tons of kids they're wild like typical crazy neighbors with a ton of children and um, she ends up falling for one of the kids named Jude and it's just her life and the story of that and I'm really enjoying it so far I know I did a terrible summary but it's really good so I'm sure I'm gonna have a good book review for you when it's over all right guys and the last things I got are some audiobooks I got Rules of Attraction by Simone Alcalas and I love, love, love this book. I don't get any audiobooks that I haven't already read, so just FYI. I'm not going to um, do too much reviews on these ones because I have it up on my channel, old channel, but um, yeah, Rules of Attraction. And then I got Marked. Um, I know I didn't really like the books, but I liked the first book, so um, I'm going to give it a go. Then... I know, Twilight, but I like the um, narrator's voice, so who knows. And then I got, I was really excited about this one, Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Adored this book. I got Night World, which I also really liked this book. Like I said before, the stories are kind of like, eh, because it's like super fast insta-love, but you know, they're fun for what, the, take it for what they're worth, so. And then um, I got Impossible by Nancy Worlin, and I love this book. It's about fairies, and it's very dark and interesting, and I think you guys like would like it if you tried it, if you haven't already. And then the last one is Anna and the French Kiss. So, super, super excited. All right, guys, that's it for my book haul. I hope you enjoyed watching, and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.